My name is Kelly and I'm an admin at Occupy WI. We are here with former Senative, uh, Senator Mike Gravel, question and answer session brought to you by Dean. And Dean, can you uh, explain the, uh, the group of the 99% the Media Alliance group, please, that this is brought to you by? Yes, yeah, this is uh, Dean Edwards. I'm the Pacific Northwest uh, editor for a brand new International Collaborative Media Alliance. It's, a, it, it's an organization which is being set up to uh, assist with the development of community journalists. We used to call them citizen journalists, but community journalists uh, have become a more inclusive term. It's, a, it's something that's been developing for the last four decades around the world, and it's really beginning to take off now. The other thing that we're seeking to do is to set up uh, effective uh, lines of communication between alternative media in particular and public broadcasting and other types of media so that the stories about the, the global democratic awakening that's going on in countries all around the world can, uh, can be uh, made more available for the mass of the audience out there to listen to, to read, or to view. Uh, today we have Senator Michael Gravel, former U.S. Senator from the state of Alaska, uh, introducing his concept of a new way of amending the United States Constitution and where people at any level can introduce uh, initiatives at the local, state, or indeed at the national level to provide their own legislation, not just amending the Constitution. So the first question is, uh, Senator Gravel, if you could give us a, a quick uh, one or two minute uh, summary of, of your proposal, how would you encapsulate it in, in, in a brief, uh, brief statement for the average person? What, we're, what we acknowledge is that all power comes from the people. Yet why can't the people exercise that power? And the reason why is because our Constitution was written by elites for elites, and we see the results of that today, that elites not only control our government, but all governments and corporations, primarily banks, control the wealth of the world. There's only two venues where we can have change. One, the government, which is controlled, or the people themselves. But the people do not have procedures to be able to make laws to counteract power that exists in representative government. Therefore, the people have to provide a way to empower themselves, and they will do it. The government won't do it. And what I've done is crafted legislation, a constitutional amendment, and a statute, procedures, that will essentially establish a legislature of the people where the people will be able to make laws in every government jurisdiction of the United States. You can go to ncid.us and you can learn about this process and you can vote and you can contribute to help make it happen. We are now announcing today that we are going on the street with ballots and people will be able to read the ballot, become informed, fill in the registration card and, uh, and we, that's vital because when you vote, for your vote to count, whether it's on the website or in a paper ballot, we have to be able to check with the information you give us that you are qualified to vote in your own government jurisdiction. Otherwise, we can't count your vote. What we're doing is bringing the people into the operation of government as lawmakers, able to set policy, satisfy their needs, not the needs of the elites. 